G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today, we're going to be having a look at how to do mental subtraction of large numbers. This video has been a patron suggestion by a guy called Dave who's asked how to do this. If you wish to become a patron of the Tech Math Channel, I'm gonna be telling you lots and lots during this video, I'm sure, but you can look in the description beneath the video and it will tell you how to go about and do that. So let's have a bit of a look at this particular question and thank you, Dave. So let's have a look with an example here. We're going to start with this type of question here. Uh, 57,364, and from this we're going to subtract 28,173. Now, a couple of things when we go to do this mentally. The first thing is we're going to be doing this question from left through to the right. That is starting over here at the left and moving to the right and getting our answer that way. There's a couple of reasons for this, but the main one, when we say numbers, we start at left and we say them to the right. So that's the best way to answer them because you know you can half say your answer as you're still working it out. So that's the first part. We're gonna be moving from left to right. The second thing is we're also going to be working through different levels of math comfort. I guess this is a method you can adapt to how comfortable you are at doing subtraction. Uh, if you're only comfortable doing one digit subtraction at a time, you can do this method using only one digit. In fact, I'm gonna do that occasionally where I'm comfortable doing it. Other ways we'll see this is using two digit. You might even take it to three or four digit, depending on how comfortable you are subtracting. So let's go through and have a look at this. So once again, we're gonna be starting from the left and moving to the right. So first off, we're gonna start with one digit subtraction, then I'm gonna move it up to two digit subtraction. So the way we're gonna do this, Five take away two, nice and simple, this is equal to three. So 30 something thousand. We have seven take away eight, moving to the next digit. Now we can't do this because eight is bigger than seven. We have this bit of a problem. So what we're going to do, like standard subtraction when we're moving this way, we're going to borrow from the next number across, which is gonna be part of our answer here. This three is going to become a two, 20 something thousand, all right? And we're gonna now have 17 here. 17 take away eight, well, that's not too bad. We're going to get the answer of nine. Next, we have three take away one. That's pretty simple. That's going to be a two. Now we have six take away seven. Nah, not so nice because seven is bigger than six. So we're going to be taking one off this two here. So we're going to end up with 29 with a one there instead. And we have 16 and seven. 16 minus seven is equal to nine. And finally, we have four take away three, which is equal to one. And there's our answer, 29,191. That's the easiest way to go through and do mental subtraction. But could you do it any faster? Well, we can. And I'm gonna show you right now how to do this. So we can make this calculation faster by breaking up into bigger amounts that we subtract here. For instance, we could start with 57 take away 28. And it's gonna save that bit of the borrowing we have to do. It's just gonna be a bit faster. So if you're comfortable doing this, it's a totally good thing to do. 57 take away 28, well, that's not too bad. That is going to be 29. Next we have, well, you can go, what's three take away one? Or you could go, what's 36 take away 17? I don't mind 36 take away 17. So 36 take away 17, that's equal to 19. Finally, we have four take away three, which is equal to one. And there's our answer once again, 29,000. 191. Now just a couple of things to note here when we're breaking these up up here. Note that I'm breaking these up so we're getting these, uh, I don't know, I guess favorable sorts of numbers as we're going along here. I wouldn't want to break this up so I'm going 64 take away 73 because it would just leave me problems. So I'm breaking these up so I'm getting nice numbers to subtract. I'm not making it harder for myself. So do you want to have a look at another example there? Well first off hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done that already and then I'll show you another example. You done that? So for the next example, I'm going to be looking at the question that was sent in by David, my patron here, which is this one here, 23,847. And from this, we're going to subtract 6,953. Now I'm gonna start this out with just a little, uh, little asterisk next to the uh, whole question here and the way I'm gonna show you how to do this. I would approach this question slightly different. I'm gonna show you this after I've solved this question the way I've just shown you, okay? Because it's worth being a little bit flexible where you can. So first off, we're gonna break this up into different parts here. So first off, we have 23 take away six. All right, 23 take away six, that's equal to 17. Cool, now we have eight take away nine. Eight take away nine, mm, we can't do that. 
So this is going to become 18 take away 9, and this is going to become 16. 18 take away 9 is equal to 9. 4 take away 5. Thanks, Dave. You gave us a couple of real great numbers here, mate. <laughs> this is going to become 14 take away 5, and this is going to become 168. Okay, 14 take away 5 is equal to 9. And finally, we have 7 take away 3, which is equal to 4. And that's our answer. We have 16,894. But as I said, there is a different way I'd approach this particular question here. And it's like this. I'd be looking at this number here, this 6,953, and looking and thinking, man, this is really close to 7,000. So what about instead of taking away 6,953, instead, I'm going to go 23,000. 847 and I'm going to subtract 7,000 and then I'm going to add the difference on. So 23,847, that gives us this wonderful answer of uh, 16,847. Cool. Now, the difference between 7,000 and 6,953, as you can see, is 47. Okay, we have to add 47 on to this answer here to get our final answer. If we do that, we add 47 on, well, didn't you know it, we're going to get this particular answer here, 16,894. As you can see, bit of jumping around there, and it's not necessarily something that everyone's gonna to wanna to do, but it's well worth being a little bit agile as you do these, just to make questions a little bit easier as you go along, depending on the specific question you are answering. It's pretty nuanced like that. So thank you for that question, Dave. And as I've said already, I'm gonna say it multiple times, if you want to become a patron of the Tech Math channel, what about you jump in the description underneath the video and become a patron? It's not very hard and you will be supporting free maths. So what about a couple of examples that you can solve? Uh, a couple of ones that look like this. Uh, different levels of hardness. Let's have uh, 36,823. And from this, we're going to subtract 23,000 451. We'll have a second question, which is going to be a bigger number. Let's go 605,763. And from this, we're going to subtract 182,477. Now, I reckon you can go through and pause the video and give these a go. Before you do it, if you haven't done it already, hit the like button, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. You done that? Well, let's go through and answer this question. Remember, go to your comfort level. If you only want to do one digit subtraction, you do that. But I'm going to do a couple of digit subtraction where it suits me. So first off, we have 36 take away 23. 36 take away 23, that's nice and simple. That's going to be 13. Now, look, three take away two is one, six take away three is three. Okay, we're in the same spot we could have been, right? Uh, the next one, 82 take away 45. I reckon that one's all right. 82 take away 45. I reckon you get that. That's going to be 37. All right, nothing too hard there. Finally, we have three take away one, which is equal to two. Happy days, we've got this answer, 13,372. How did you go on that? Well, hopefully you went well. The final question, 605,000, blah, 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 take away 182, blah, 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 blah. So look, if you're really brave, you could group this up into three. I reckon you give that a fair go. But I'm not that smart, and you know, I'm only gonna do 60 take away 18, which is equal to 42, and five take away two, which is equal to three. Yeah, got it still pretty fast, eh? <laughs> okay, now we have 76 take away 47. I reckon we give that one a go. So 76 take away 47, uh, all right, that's going to be uh, 29, cool. Now finally, we have three take away seven. Oh, it's a bit gross, isn't it? So let's go through and we're gonna to have to steal one off the end here. So this whole amount is gonna become four, two, three, four hundred and twenty-three thousand two hundred and eighty. And this is gonna be 13 take away seven, which is gonna be six. 423,286. So how'd you go with those? Pretty good? Well, I hope you did. Once again, thank you for watching this video so far. If you have watched it this far, well, I reckon it's worth checking out that description. I reckon it's worth like day becoming a patron. Okay, have I, have I over-egged it too much? I reckon maybe I have. But at the very least, hit the like button and subscribe. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.